Thanks for joining us on another one of our Hunter ADOS training videos. As ADOS adapts and changes, Hunter is meeting those demands. Today we're going to talk about one of their newest inventions that they've had, or innovations as you will, on continued ADOS adaptations and different ways to go about getting through the ADOS systems. Today we're going to be using the actual alignment machine with my ADOS link, not the DOS 3000. And the blueprinting is a different procedure that's going to make sure that this vehicle is structurally sound and straight enough to have a correct ADOS calibration so that the radars aren't pointing off in weird directions further down the road than they are up close. We're going to go through that procedure next. Setting up for blueprinting is very easy. You'll already notice I've set up my clamps with my targets already on the wheels, as most of you already know how to do that. There will be a couple different steps that you'll do and a couple different tools that you'll need as well, including some extenders that we're going to use on our front targets. You'll see that as well. We'll also be using some ride height sensors. We'll set that up as well. You'll need a tape measure, and you will still be using your ADOS link, and we'll go through that as well. Some of you may be wondering, why would I blueprint, or what is it for? Well, if this vehicle such as this, or any vehicle that comes into your shop for an ADOS calibration was in a severe collision that had a lot of damage to it, this is a good point that you wanna make sure that everything was done correctly. The alignment measurements that you're going to be seeing next, after I get all of this set up, are much more in depth than you would without the extenders and without the blueprinting capability that we have right now. So you're gonna to wanna to be able to do this so you can set this up, do your pre-scan as well. You'll see it's doing the pre-scan, I'll be setting this up and I'm gonna get a lot of information that normally you would not have. This helps to prove that the vehicle is straight, level. All of those are very, very important for ADOS calibrations. Now your camera may be able to see a sign or a target 10 feet away, but what is it seeing further away? A little bit of variance in your ride height or that the way the vehicle sits can affect how much further or where that camera or where that radar is really pointing at much further down the road. So this will give us a really good indication was everything fixed correctly? Do I have any bent components that could affect my ADOS calibration? These are all very important things that we want to do, especially after a major collision where you're kind of wondering, is everything good to go? So what we're going to do now is head on over to the machine and start going through the setup of blueprinting. At this point, we have our customer information we can enter and a little bit of something new that maybe you haven't seen before. Complaints or reasons for the alignment and we had significant damage to the frame on this one and unibody or unibody, whatever you prefer, and ADOS calibration, because we're also gonna do an ADOS calibration. But right now, all I'm really doing is focusing on the pre-scan. What I wanna do is make sure that I can align this vehicle and that there's not any DTCs related to the ADOS system that's gonna prevent me from doing that. Right now, I'm just gonna do the pre-scan of all of these components. I'll press OK, and I'm gonna go ahead and get our VIN off the side of the door. Scanning the VIN creates an event in the requested procedures list on ADOS link and ties the win align and ADOS link procedures together. And our vehicle has 18 inch, not 21, so we'll press OK. Select optional vehicle systems. We have lane departure warning systems on this. And right now we're going to do a pre-scan. You'll see right now that it's asking me to plug in the ADOS link to the DLC with our VCI. When you have blueprinting set up on your alignment equipment, your Hunter rep will have set this up for you so that your VCI can communicate with here, with our system. Everything's communicating well. Couple things though, right here it says, make sure to plug it in. I'm gonna wait for this to say connected on the screen before I do anything else. We're gonna plug in a Hunter ADOS link now to the DLC. We're connected to our VCI. At this point, we're not gonna press diagnostics. What you wanna do is, re is, is go ahead and press requested procedures list. 
We have an SEL. We'll cycle the ignition real quick and come back to that. So the pre-scan has shown up as our requested procedures. Press the large blue button here when you do it and do not mark as complete either. Uh, that would not allow you to do any other post scan. It essentially kind of closes the repair order. So for right now, I'm just gonna press pre-scan. It's going to now go ahead and go through all of the modules and check for any DTCs. Now that this is starting to look through all of the controllers and look for any DTCs, you can press OK on your screen right here and continue on with your blueprinting process. So that's what I'm gonna do now. This is when you're gonna get the option right now to take it on an alignment path or blueprinting. We're gonna go ahead and go through the blueprinting process so you can see that. The screen is gonna ask us to mount our extenders and you're gonna see why, because I need a much more comprehensive view of the front end and these allow us to do that. Again, if you don't have these, contact your hunter rep. They'll be bringing those out for you. We're gonna steer the wheel till you almost get to about 20 degrees. It's like 19 and a half, and you'll see it line up. Now it's gonna tell you to keep moving the wheel. Do not stop, don't pause. Take it all the way to the stops and let it pause. Now do the other side. Turn it the other way. You'll get to about 20, 19 and a half, 20 degrees. It'll take a quick snapshot and then ask you to continue taking it all the way to the stops. You see why I need the extenders right now. We're gonna take it back to center now. got the wheels steered where they're asking. We're gonna go ahead and press continue. At this point, you can already see some measurements you may have never seen before without doing the blueprinting process. I have setback, rear setback, lateral offset, axle offset. These are all important measurements to know the actual health of the vehicle and which way the actual vehicle is tracking as it's going down the road or what actions you may need to change to make sure that it is going straight down the road, especially when we're doing these ADOS calibrations and making sure that radars are seeing the right things, pointed in the right directions. Same with the cameras. Are they pointed in the right directions? And this helps us see all of that. Now here's another couple new other things that you may have never seen. A couple distance measurements that we have to do. First one is rim width, front and rear. You can measure that, but I looked it up. It was a lot easier. These are eight inch wheels. So I'm gonna enter that here. And now it's gonna ask us to measure the distance from the face of the target to the edge of the rim. And, you, and it gives you where you're supposed to do that. So I'm gonna grab my tape measure and check that real quick. And we'll enter that. And right now I'm at five and three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna enter that as my other number. Another thing that you may have never done that you're going to need to do when you're doing a blueprint is we want our ride height. So what we're gonna use is our ride height targets that I'm gonna install on all four corners. You kinda of wanna make sure that you're in the center of your wheel well, your highest apex. That'll rest up against that. Kinda of line it up with your wheel center hub there. These come with some double-sided tape. Keep it in place. We'll do that on all four corners. So we installed our ride height targets, all of our wheel wells. We'll go ahead and press continue now, or okay. 
So again, maybe another screen you've never seen before that you have available with the blueprinting, with our wheelbase, body angles, wheel offsets, a lot more information than just a standard alignment procedure. We can also see some vertical measurements where we have body roll and we also have ride height. Remember, like I said, ride height's gonna be very crucial to a correct ADOS calibration. Maybe not so much directly in front of the vehicle, but it will definitely affect it further down the road on what the vehicle is seeing. We have finished with all of our measurements for our blueprinting. At this point, there's a lot of different choices you have for printing options that you're gonna to wanna to do if you have any issues that you wanna deal with that you can also show to your customer um, on what the problems are with the vehicle. A um, lot of different things that you can choose here, including some advanced vehicle handling issues or, or values. And this is really neat because now I've got actual curb to curb, track circle, to, uh, you know, center line of the vehicle that we can look at and you can print those off. Advanced steering values, a lot more detail with a blueprinting than you wouldn't get with just a normal everyday alignment. But you can see all of these. So anytime you want to print these off, you even got your body roll angles um, shown there. Your axle setback, lateral offset. These are all really important things to have to be able to make a determination on what you need to do for your alignment to make sure that everything's good, especially when you go ahead and do your ADOS calibration after that. And once you're done with all of your printing of anything that you wanna print out, you'll press cancel. And now this is my report from our ADOS link. All of the modules that were scanned, any DTCs that are present in the vehicle right now. And of course, you're going to want to print this off with all of the other things that you just printed out for your blueprinting to provide a complete analysis of the vehicle and all of the issues that may be related to it. Once you print off your ADOS link, it's gonna bring you back to your screen with all of your express align procedures, ultimately ending up with a calibration if needed. This is all of our blueprinting pre-scanning procedures. At this point, anything that would need to be done, whether an alignment or a calibration would need to be done after that. You can also choose a pre and post scan on the beginning of your actual home screen. If you choose a pre-scan and a post-scan, it'll walk you through a comprehensive repair procedure. You're gonna do your pre-scan, you're gonna do your blueprinting. Then it'll walk you through your alignment. Then it will also walk you through the procedures you need to do for your calibration. Once you're all done with that, you can do your post-scan, test drive it, and print a complete report on everything that was done before, during, and after. This is how Hunter is making sure that ADOS calibrations are done correctly for you and your shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.